Okay, YouTubers, here we go again. It's uh, Wednesday, the 27th of... The 28th of May. Anyway, it's May. But, uh, yeah. Uh, even the little hobby farm thing has issues with the wife's dang horse. If you look over there, along that utility pole, there's a corner post with stretches of fence. And some other wife's dang horse, he has broke, broke off the corner post and the brace post going that away. Uh, so hang on a second. Okay, as I was saying, um, I'm not gonna go over and video, you know, video you the broke off sections of post and fence and all that stuff because neighbors over there and their kids are out playing the pool and stuff, and no one has the wrong th thoughts, whatever going there. But anyway. As you can tell here in the gator, I've got some broke off posts that have been in the ground. This one here is the brace post he broke off. And I only been in the ground probably probably been a good ten years though since I put that fixed in corner post, but uh, anyway. He broke that one off, he broke corner post off. So I had to pull these up out of the ground so I could reuse the whole holes. Why drill new holes or pound new? I don't have a post pounder. Why drill new holes with the post hole digger when I got pull this up? Away we go, about where we're at. And we did not make video because one, didn't have the camera with me. Two, I tend to cuss like a sailor when I'm in a stressed situation, like most of you do. Uh, I'm sure our fellow, uh, well, I know our, our Canadian. YouTubers, they tend to, at least the ones I watch, they tend to uh, use certain words a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, I tend to use the word, um, let's just say that it was... Uh, a uh, shortened version of fornicate under consent of the king type of word. You can YouTube it, or not YouTube, you can uh, Google it, but I tend to use that word way more than I probably should or whatever. And I gotta try, I'm trying to keep the language sort of clean. You know, I don't want you cringing when you hear me cussing like a sailor over stupid stuff but anyway uh, yeah back to the fencing so anyway we spent some time trying to pull posts up and cussing and carrying on because tried to use the winch on the four-wheeler to pull the post up it didn't work uh, tried to just yank on the post with the four-wheeler didn't work so we went and got the toy tractor and of course you first off you uh, hook the chain or whatever onto the post and grab on the hook of your loader try to pull well not enough weight in my butt back here in the seat north of wheel weights and these tires aren't loaded uh, probably should be but I don't have them loaded because on the hay field you know don't want to tear the don't really need the weight so much on the hay field it's flat um, and so on and so forth you understand kind of or not but anyway uh, yeah tire come off the ground a little bit put her back down so it was get out the aggravation and break out the wonderful Harbor Freight three-point quick hitch adapter and when I bought this thing, I thought I had the world by the butt. Or, we'll just say it. I had the world by the ass. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So freaking wrong. Because at the time when I bought this, I had a John Deere 272 grooming mower, which is just a finish mower. I thought it would be great to hook onto it. Well, my spacing from here to here was not right. And because of the way that third link was on it the hook that comes on here uh, just wasn't right to where it just set like that 
going across the yard or whatever. It just wasn't right at all. And that's after making an attempt. That's ugly. I'll admit, it's ugly. But I made an attempt. I cut this thing in half and put tubing inside of here and stretched it. Opened it up. And I got it to where I could hook onto the to the finish mower, but like I said, this up here still just wasn't right. So, enough about that whiny moment. I killed almost five minutes. So anyway, yeah, went and drug this out of the barn, dug it out. So far, my best use for this dang thing is just to pull wooden posts out of the ground. Because I can take and take my loop chain right here. Put that loop around the pole down the ground. Put my clevis. You know, guys, I know I like clevises. Hook my clevis on the upper point. And then I can just use the third arm to the three point to pull the post up out of the ground. For me, it works really well. My front end stays on the ground with the way the loader up there. And I can feel when I'm pulling, I can feel the back tire squat just a little bit. And because this post, this piece here, was a real piece of work to get out of the ground. A lot of effort. This one, not so bad. But it took a little bit to get it. Uh, and another reason for not making video, uh, the wife was actually working on the fence for me. Uh, I had to take care of another situation uh, yesterday, so she went out there yesterday after doing some other stuff, and she dug out around these posts, dug down far enough to where I could get a hold of it with a chain, and uh, help break them loose, and then help me hook onto them and get them up out of the ground. Uh, and she started taking the wire loose from the brace post even. So I got to do a little more work there, but... Uh, but yeah, there's kind of a quick thing there. Um, I may make... Nah, I probably won't do it. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably just stop right here. Um, but first off, I want to say thank you to Prairie Sunset Ranch. Uh, hey, thank you. Some of your fellow Canadians have wandered over down here my way and uh, subscribed. I appreciate your help on that. Uh, on the on my subscription group increase um, and I need to apologize to Bo Hunting Hoosier uh, former core worker he'd commented on my last video I wanted to respond to him give him the thumbs up and whatever but for whatever reason YouTube was not allowing me to do that so that was very frustrating because I hate leaving you know you guys know I am. I like to at least give you a thumbs up and comment with you a little bit. Um, so we'll just go from there. Uh, and I'll, I'm just gonna stop this here. I'll I'll, I'll make another video later of the uh, fence repair because I got posts already. I just gotta fix the holes and all that crap. And you guys don't need to see my big butt working. And although I'm sure it'd be entertaining. Or hear my uh, foul mouth go into a rant of certain words. Um, so anyway, on that note, uh, as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. The subscribership has gone up. Thank you. If you found it, you subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate you. And yeah, give me the thumbs up, give me the thumbs down. Be fine. Uh, and on that note, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, you know what I tell you, stay safe. Okay, YouTubers, what the heck? I'll put this clip in somewhere in here. Um, here's the corner post I had to replace, and then that brace post. And then I was able to reuse the holes. Uh, that hole there had to dig out a little bit to get that bit with bigger diner post to go in and put the braces back in reuse the brace wire I'm spun in there and nailed in place um, 
I'm gonna let these posts set till next week. And then I'll try to stretch and pull that wire back around this and hopefully I can get enough slack to wrap them back up. But, but anyway, yeah, that dang horse, he just, I don't know how he did it, but he managed to break them off. But I didn't realize, you know, I think I mentioned the fence been probably 10 years. No, I was wrong. I replaced that brace post, this corner post, this brace post on all four corners of this lot. And then an end post and brace over on each side of that old building there. And then at the gate, put up new end and brace posts there at the gate, main gate in and out. I did that almost 20 years ago. And these old posts here, little wooden posts down the fence line. My father-in-law put them in probably back in the 80s. So they've been in the ground, they've been in probably 40 years. I need to replace them. Uh, dang horse, he, you know, grass was green on the other side of the fence. So he's, and those, those are just landscape post timbers. All those are, he used for posts, cheaper. They worked. But now they're getting rotten toward the ground. They're starting as he leans into them, they're breaking off. And as you can see, the whole fence leans out. Whole post anyway. I got T post trying to hold it back up, but but there again, the decision is becoming which do I do? Total rebuild the fence, or just keep band-aiding along till that dang horse is no longer uh, present. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna let you go for now. And we'll go from there.